If you're working in code that uses spaces for indentation, you can enable the editor sticky tab stop setting to make VS Code treat groups of spaces as if they were a single tab character. Now this is disabled by default, but I've enabled it here so we can look at the behavior. Now the first place you might notice sticky tab stops is when making a selection. So here I'm going to start making a selection, and watch how as I'm making the selection here, it doesn't select the individual space characters like it normally would, it is actually selecting either the entire tab stop or none of it. So as I go here, it just jumps between selecting either none of these spaces here or selecting all of them for each of the tab stops. And this is useful because oftentimes you don't want to just select one space or three spaces or something, you want to select the entire indentation here, and you don't have to be as precise when making the selection this way. The other place you'll notice sticky tab stops is if I go in here and actually place my cursor here and then do a right arrow key, you can see that it's jumped directly to the next tab stop instead of jumping to the next character. So I don't have to press the right arrow key four times to get to the next tab stop, I could just press it once and it would jump between the different tab stops here. Now again, sticky tab stops are disabled by default, but we can easily enable them using the VS Code settings. I'm going to open up my settings using control comma or command comma on Mac, and I'm going to search for sticky and I want the editor sticky tab stop setting. I've enabled it here, and if we just disable it for a second, we can look at the standard VS Code behavior. So here, when I actually move the cursor around, it will move a individual character instead of moving to the next tab stop. So that was pressing the left arrow key here. It just jumped left one space character. And then as I'm making the selection here as well, you can see that I can select the individual characters. Now, this is often not what you really want, um, and you might have to spend a little bit of extra time making the selection when you're working with code that's dealing with spaces, or you might end up with like a weird selection where it's including one space or three spaces or something something like that, instead of all the spaces that make up a tab stop. So that's a quick look at the editor sticky tab stop setting for VS Code. I think it's a good default to consider if you're working in a code base that uses spaces for indentation.